Hey YouTube, my name is Jian Yidong. I'm a vegetable grower at Oz Alberta, Canada. Our weather here is really challenging for growing vegetables. So I built a commercial size passive solar greenhouse and I grow vegetables year round without heating. Today is uh, December the 28th, 2020. It's the darkest and the coldest time of the year. I want to show you what I still have in the greenhouse. Right now it's 3.15 in the afternoon. Let's check the temperature in the greenhouse. It's about 27 degrees. So I'm gonna close the insulated blankets on the top. This black thing is insulated blankets in about half an hour before it drops down to 20 degrees. So it keeps the whole greenhouse very warm at night. In this part of the greenhouse, I used to have tomatoes and cucumbers. And in November, I pull them out and replace them with some leafy veggies. For example, cabbages. These cabbages were grown from seedlings like uh, this big. But in about 40 days, they have doubled the size, more than doubled. They are actually growing slowly because in winter time our sun is very weak and the angle of the sun is very low and we have only about five hours sunlight in our greenhouse so they can make it this big I'm pretty happy these guys are purple bok choy they grow quicker than the cabbages this is garlic chive they were growing from roots and they also grow pretty quick and I also have some uh, dill weeds these guys are Chinese cabbages I like them because they are smart they are all growing towards the south so they know where to find more sunlight you may have noticed that I have so many fiberglass bars. That's because I cover them with another layer of plastic when it's really, really cold. Sometimes it gets down to minus 40. So in that situation, I cover all the leafy veggies with the plastic, but I don't necessarily do it every day, only when it's really cold. Here I'm pulling out tomatoes. These are cherry tomatoes. And over there I still have some uh, beefsteak tomatoes. And you can see they have pretty long vines. And uh, I take out two vines and to marry them. They're really long. So they are actually about five meters, five meters long. And that's about 12 trusses of beefsteak tomatoes and about 14 trusses of cherry tomatoes. I still have a lot of beefsteak tomatoes to pick. You see, they're pretty big, but these are the last ones because uh, we cut the top in October. They are actually even longer, but we cut the top because we don't want them to grow taller anymore. We just want all the tomatoes on the vine to ripen. It's all beef steak in this part. So this is a pretty big greenhouse. It can accommodate about 1,800 plants of tomatoes. This year they did very well, but I started too, uh, too late. I transplanted them in April. And next year I'm gonna start earlier and I get more plants, longer vines. So you want to succeed, you better start early and extend your growing season.
and these beef steaks are already pulled out and they will be replaced by leafy veggies this is my seedling bed this is how it grow uh, tomato seedlings they just uh, germinated I think just yesterday last year I started very late so this year I start much earlier they will stay in the trees for about two months and they will be transplanted before March so next year I will definitely have more tomatoes our latitude is 52 degrees and our elevation is 1000 meters and we have very long winter and very short growing season so growing vegetables here is really a challenging work but you can see uh, with the passive solar greenhouse I don't need to burn any energy and I can do year-round growing it's really doing a great job in extending the growing season and because I don't need to burn any energy my cost is really low so next video I will show you the design of my passive solar greenhouse thank you for watching